Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Are you mentally strong? Mental strength refers to how resilient and confident you are under stresses, pressures and challenges that arise in your life. There's a range of factors that may be harming your mental strength without you knowing. Please note, this video is not intended to attack anyone who experiences any of the topics listed in the video. It's designed to help you identify ways in which you can improve. So, here are six habits that may make you mentally weak. Number one, having a negative mindset. How often do you find yourself complaining about the day-to-day -day inconveniences? Do you notice those around you always mentioning the worst case scenarios? You might be surprised at how much negativity you hold on to and express. Whilst things going wrong is inevitable, the way you react to these situations is one telltale indicator of your mental strength. In fact, Stanford research has found that the way you want to feel determines whether others can negatively impact your emotion. In particular, they found that those who wanted to stay calm were less phased by angry people compared to those who wanted to feel angry. Hey Psych2Goers, are you feeling stressed lately? Do you find it difficult to develop healthy habits? Looking for ways to improve your health, both mentally and physically? Today's video is sponsored by Fabulous, the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. They were born at Duke University and have been featured in the Google I.O. conference. Fabulous uses behavioral science to help people make smart changes and build healthy habits. They actually have a proven track record of creating long-lasting change in your daily routine. At Psych2Go, we always advocate for self-improvement and mental health. Building a supportive environment and better relationships are one of our many goals. In doing so, it's important that we practice mindfulness. Whether it be starting our morning writings or doing simple things like practicing self-affirmations and self-love. These are some of the many things Fabulous has to offer. The app is very simple to use and it's 100% personalized. All you have to do is set up your daily routines and from there you'll get daily coaching and you'll also be able to join a community where you can take part in challenges and stay accountable with other users. The first 100 people who click on the link in the description will get a free week trial and 25% off a fabulous subscription. Have your own coach in your pocket and start building healthy habits that stick today. Thanks so much Fabulous for sponsoring this video. Number two, not expressing yourself. Do you have a place to express your emotions? Having an outlet for your emotions, whether it's writing in a journal or talking to a loved one, is incredibly important for your mental well-being. Emotions serve to guide you, and whilst opening up about them has been stigmatized as a weakness, the opposite is actually true. The ability to express yourself is a strong sign of mental strength and resilience. A research paper by Patel and Patel looked at the effect that repressing emotions can have on mental well-being, and found that it can lead to depression. So, how about setting aside some time to express how you're really feeling? Number three, fantasizing instead of visualizing. Do you find yourself constantly daydreaming about the grand things you want to achieve, but never actually take any action to make these things happen? Visualization is about envisioning the future and unlike fantasizing, involves setting clear goals and plans. Whilst fantasizing is a good place to start, Visualizing makes plans clear and keeps you motivated as a result. Number four, not making time for personal relationships. When was the last time you spoke to a friend or family member? While staying connected during the pandemic has been difficult, it's now more important than ever. Not making time for others can make you feel isolated, no matter how introverted you are. Mentally strong people are able to recognize the importance of having a support system. A study by Sansom and Dunn found social interactions with both close and weak ties contribute to our mental well-being, suggesting that all kinds of social interactions can be beneficial. Number five, trying to control everything. Do you have all the specifics of your life mapped out in your mind? Like when you'll find your perfect house, when you'll get married and have kids? Trying to control everything around you will likely end up harming you in the long run. If you become too set on one path, you may become closed-minded and miss other opportunities that arise. Being too set on one map can also make it harder for you to deal with things when they don't go according to plan. Life is unpredictable, and a key part of mental strength is being able to accept that it's impossible to control everything. And number six, worrying about what others say and do. Do you seek others' validation? Do you compare yourself and what you're doing to those around you? Whilst there are common insecurities, 
Constantly fixating on doing things for the sake of others may be a sign of emotional weakness. The impact of doing things to please other people could make you lose sight of what's important to you. Similarly, comparing yourself to others may demotivate you. Remember, everyone lives their life at different speeds and the most important life to focus on is your own. So, there we have it. Six habits that may make you mentally weak. Did you relate to any of the habits listed? If so, please remember that recognising mental weakness is the first step towards building mental strength. Whilst it may be daunting, the most important thing is to not give up on the areas you choose to improve on. After all, mental strength is all about resilience and trying your best. Please let us know in the comments section which habits you might like to try and improve on. All the references used are also added in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe to the Psych2Go channel if you haven't already, and share with anyone you know that might find today's video helpful. See you in our next video. Thank you.